Hey, what's up everyone, TJ here. In this video, I'm gonna highlight five snowboards that I think will be amazing for you if you're looking to get started riding in the terrain park or just improve your freestyle riding in general. So there's a couple things all of these boards are gonna have in common. They're all gonna be true twin snowboards. They're gonna ride exactly the same in either direction. And they're all gonna have a flex that's on the softer side of medium. So they're gonna be nice and manageable and easier to control as you're learning the fundamentals of riding in the terrain park. All right, so no particular order. Let's go ahead and jump right into it and start with the Capita Ultra Fear. I think this is one of the most underrated snowboards on the Capita lineup, and it's really fun for all types of freestyle riding. The Ultra Fear runs a flat to rocker profile. That's gonna give you a nice and predictable feel out of the snowboard, and the rocker and the tips, particularly the way Capita does it, is gonna create really nice flex points and a nice balance point for presses as well. So if you're looking to start pressing on boxes and rails or maybe uh, learn some new butter tricks, I think that's gonna be really helpful for you. Like I said before, this board's gonna have a softer side of medium flex, I'd say just on the softer side of medium, and it's also built with durability in mind, which is great for park riding. It's gonna have what Capita calls Kevlar body armor. So in the four corners of the snowboard, there's gonna be Kevlar built in to just help increase that durability, as well as a strip of Titanol going from the very tip of the snowboard down to the very tail. That's an aluminum alloy and is gonna help to maintain a consistent feel out of the snowboard over time. You're also gonna find some cork built in on the heel and toe edge, which will provide a little bit more dampening as you find yourself in those higher impact scenarios. And it runs a higher quality centered base as well. The Ultra Fear is loaded with tech and it's gonna be a lot of fun for all types of freestyle riding, whether you're trying to learn new rail tricks and jibs or learn some new jump tricks as well. It's gonna have an overall playful feel. It's gonna be easy to control and it'll be a great board to progress with as you get better riding in the terrain park. The next board I wanna highlight is the Yes Basic Snowboard. This one comes in at a great price point, right around $400, and it runs a Camrock Camber Profile. So camber between the feet with the rocker and the tips, has an overall camber dominant feel, so it's gonna have some pretty decent stability and some good pop, but gonna have some nice flex to it as well. You're gonna be able to get some pretty tall presses with this board, so it'll be fun for progressing that rail riding. Gonna do well on jumps also, and one of the biggest highlights on the Basic is that it runs underbite tech from Yes. So that's some added contact points right underfoot that'll help you out on icy snow, so maybe on icier landings on features. And it also runs an extruded base. So that helps keep the cost low, but it's also gonna make the base easier to repair. You can repair it uh, more efficiently with a P-TEC stick right at home. Anytime you're riding rails or boxes, you obviously run the risk of scratching the base. So an extruded base is just gonna make those repairs a little bit easier. Moving along, the next board I wanna highlight is the Solomon Huck Knife. So this board is almost full positive camber. It has just a little bit of rocker right at the contact points to help mellow it out a little bit and make it a little bit less catchy, but overall gonna have that camber dominant, more poppy, more precise feel to it. It has a medium soft flex as well, and it has what Solomon calls their popster tech. So that's some core profiling going on in the snowboard where the core is a little bit thinner underfoot and gets thicker outside of your feet. So that's gonna create some nice flex zones and help you out for loading up tension in the board to get you more pop for ollies. It'll help you out as you're jumping onto rail features and as you're learning to hit jumps as well. You're also gonna find a higher end centered base on this board with a stone ground finish. So uh, some structure in the base, and as long as you keep it waxed up, this board is gonna be really fast. And it also comes straight out of the factory with a freestyle edge bevel. So between the bindings, the edge of the snowboard is actually beveled up about three degrees. So straight out of the factory with really sharp edges, that's gonna help you to not catch as you're sliding sideways on rail features. I also want to highlight the Battalion Disaster Snowboard. So this one runs a full positive camber profile and it has a medium soft flex as well. It has an extruded base to help keep the cost low and make for easier repairs. This one comes in right around $400. But the coolest piece of tech in the Disaster is that it runs Battalion's triple base technology. So on the nose and tail, the base and edge is actually lifted up. It's got a 3D base shape going on, which is gonna make this board really catch free if you're doing butters or sliding sideways on rails leaned more into that nose or tail while still getting that poppy, more powerful, precise feel with the full positive camber. 
All right, there's one more board I wanna highlight, but before we get into that, I wanna let you guys know that all of these snowboards are gonna be linked down in the description of this video. If you wanna check them out in more detail or read a little bit about them, go check out those links down there. And the last board I want to include on this list is the Never Summer Proto Slinger. This is the next evolution of the Fun Slinger, which is one of my all time favorite freestyle snowboards. And it still stays true to the philosophy of the Fun Slinger. Really the only difference is that it has their new Shockwave camber profile. So it's gonna have even more camber added to the camber profile. Still gonna be rocker dominant overall. They just reduced the rocker in the middle by about one third and added more camber underfoot for a little bit more pop and a little bit more stability. This board's made here at the Never Summer Factory in Colorado and it's loaded with tech. So a few things I wanna highlight is that it is an ASIM snowboard. So it's gonna have a bit of a tighter heel side edge versus the toe side edge. That's just gonna make heel side turns a little bit more responsive for you as you're setting up for tricks. It also runs some V-shaped carbon in the board going from right underfoot out to the contact points, making this board a little bit more responsive from edge to edge without really increasing that torsional stiffness. So you can still get really quick turns out of it. The rocker dominant profile is also gonna help you get really quick turns and it's gonna allow you to press the board really well. That shape just really makes it easy to lean into the nose and tail, get nice tall presses for rail tricks and for butters. It's gonna have Never Summer's Power Grip side cut, so some mellow added contact points underfoot to give you a bit more grip on those icy landings or just icy snow in general. And it also runs a higher end centered base. Again, just make sure you keep that thing waxed and it's gonna be really fast out there for you. And overall, every time I've ever ridden the Fun Slinger, I've had an amazing time on it. It's a super, super fun park board. And I think the Proto Slinger is gonna provide that really fun, versatile feel all over the park as well. All right guys, so those are my top five recommendations for boards that I think are gonna help you progress in the terrain park. And as an honorable mention, I also wanna highlight the Burton Name Dropper. I'll have that board linked down below as well. If you got some value out of this video, please make sure to give it a like. Consider subscribing, I really appreciate it guys. And stay tuned, I'm gonna have a bunch more of these top five videos coming out over the next couple of weeks covering all kinds of categories. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you in a new one soon. See ya. Oh, <laughs>